एवरी वन माई नेम इज आयान वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आयान किड्स लर्निंग टू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई फोर्टी फाइव प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो टूडे ऑन आयान किड्स लर्निंग टू डे फोर्टी सिक्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूज ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो वी आर वी आर गन बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन थ्री टॉपिक्स ऑफ computer okay we are discussing three topics of it first we will talk about computer and electronic device that is the first subject topic of computer next number 2 we will be talking about uses of computer number 3 we will be talking about input and output and process unit of computer so before we get started these are my baby sister toys if we hit 65 subscribers we will introduce anaya to my baby sister anaya to my youtube channel if we hit 70 subscribers i will make a second channel if we hit 100 subscribers we will make in my baby anaya's new channel So we are currently at fifty-two subscribers. We are over halfway to Nida Baby. Nida Baby is what I call her. My my nickname for Naya. So anyway, let's get started. So first lesson number one, we will talk about computer and electronic device. So in this topic, we will discuss about use. we will discuss about what we use computers we will discuss about computer versus a man and all those stuff and we will also discuss about we will also discuss about do computers have feelings do man have feelings and in the second lesson we are going to discuss about what we use computers for in different places Number three, we are gonna talk about input and output and process devices. Okay, we are gonna discuss about that in lesson three. So let's get started with lesson one, which is computer and electronic device. So a computer, it's an electronic device, as you all know. We use computer every day. Okay, so let's talk about a computer. versus a man after this we will have a pop quiz and then move on to lesson 2 and then lesson 3 lesson number 1 computer and electronic device computer versus man a computer does not have any feelings a man has feelings for example if you hit a computer or monitor it won't react if you hit a man woman or human being or any human being it'll react so let's get started with so let's move on to a different thing about computer and man so also we have to talk about the why we have to talk about decisions if a computer forgets everything which is stored in its brain actually if which is stored in it we have to talk about that so if you do something on a computer until you close that tab it won't forget anything which is stored in it unless if you close that tab it will obviously forget a man can forget any A man can forget something which is stored in its brain. When I do this, that means that is the location of a brain. Okay, so compute. So that's all of lesson one. But we also have questions. So that's why I made lesson one short. Okay. Name, name uh, one thing that name one difference of a computer. and a man just one you need the name okay so tell me i'll give you 10 seconds and then i will reveal a random answer of the two that i said 
the answer is if you hit the monitor it won't react if you hit the man you will feel the pain question number two do computers forget anything which is stored in its mind or memory does computer forget anything which is stored in it no no right so if there was true and false we have to say false okay so that was all for lesson number one uh, lesson and questions so then we will move on to lesson number two uses of computers in different places we have three lessons we are at lesson number two uses of computers in different places so so first we have computers are used around the world all of mostly all of the people use a computer to work in so let's get started with something in offices computers are used to dash come in offices computers are used to what i'll give you 10 seconds to answer it 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so in offices what are computers used for they're used for printing out papers and typing online messages to send to their office people what are computers in office used for typing emails and printing out papers okay typing emails and printing out papers so next we have what do you know doctors use computers for i'll give you 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so the answer is in you know doctors use computers for what do they use it for they use it for you know recording about diseases learning about diseases so they can help the patients you know patients get better they will use the com doctors will use the computers they use this to get and record diseases they will use computers to record diseases okay hospitals will do that also doctors so doctors they you and they also use that information about diseases to help the patients get better they help the patients get better who come to the doctor that they come to the doctor that means they're sick so they will help the patients get better so next we have designing field so if what do we use computers for designing we use computers for uh, coloring we use computers for playing games we use computers for puzzles we use computer for more and etc yep we also use computers for etc so now we are done with lesson number two let us move on to lesson number three input and output devices so input processing and guess what's the other one output yeah those are the three units input unit output unit process unit okay i will say it in the correct order input unit processing unit output unit so for example let's take an example of input output and processing so the input is dirty clothes
clothes, okay? Listen to the end. Dirty clothes is the input. And then what do you think? And then the and then processing is washing in a washing machine. So then the output, you know what it is? You know what the output is? Clean clothes. Let's take an ex another example. We have for the input we have blunt pencil. For the process we have sharpening with the sharpener, right? We sharpen the pencil with the sharpener. So after that we have the output unit. The output unit is a sharp pencil, right? The output unit is a sharp pencil. So Let's get started on the main things of this topic. So, let's get started. So, what do we... Okay, so, if the input... If the input is... Uh, the input is... Okay, if the input is blunt pencil, what, what is the processing? Sharpening and then the outfit is any guess sharp pencil so that almost wraps that we have that was the question that was the end of lesson three so now we have the quiz the almighty quiz ten questions long actually five questions long and all the topics that we have covered all three of them will go in it so first we will do two from lesson one two from lesson two one question from lesson three first let's start lesson one two okay what name two name one difference between a computer and the man. One, okay? The answer is drum roll, please. If you hit a monitor, it won't react. If you hit a man, human being, or woman, it will react. It'll it'll feel the pain, right? It'll feel the pain. So, so actually one question each let's do. That's a total of three questions. Question number two, lesson, topic two, from users of computer. What do hospitals slash doctors use computers for? You have 10 seconds, 10, a nine, a eight, a seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. The answer is doctors use computers for make recording diseases. So now for the final question of the entire video. Question number three. Lesson number three. It takes some hard braining skills for this. Cause, cause it's input output process. It doesn't mean that the braining guy was just to go joking around with you. But, but the question number three, final question of the video is, if the input is, if the input is like broken sofa what is the processing unit what is the output unit i will give 10 seconds for the processing unit 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 if the input is broken sofa the processing unit will be fixing the sofa, right? 
and the output will be fixed so far. Hope you like Ayan's kids learning tube. Day 46, which was about uses of computer. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell for more videos. Yo. Also, remember to subscribe because because we need to make Naya have my baby sister Naya have a channel. If we get 65 subscribers, we will make Naya to my channel. If we get 70 subscribers, Naya will Naya, my baby sister, will have her own channel. So Hope you like I answered learning to day 46, which, about, which was about users of computer. Like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell for more. Up do, do not miss my videos when I upload. Bye bye. See you on I answered learning to 47. Bye bye.